Okay, welcome back. This is chapter six. And chapter six is all about page layout. If you recall from the last one, we did a little wire. They had some little wiring diagram thing showing you where things are. Well, now we're actually going to do that. We're actually going to make it look like one of those little wiring diagram things. Okay, now I'll t I'm going to tell you up front. I'm not going to lie to you. This is one of the tougher chapters in the book. So don't be afraid to hit the pause button and rewind and say, what the heck did he say? So just take your time. And the concepts here are pretty cool. They're not incredibly hard it's just if you've never done this before it, you're going to be going what and so you just do it a couple of times and you go oh okay i got it so learning objectives on page uh 247 so describe and apply the box model we've kind of alluded to this in the past we're going to go into a little bit more detail now configure margins and float and positioning and do a two column layout Good. Configure nav nav navigation. Uh, add interactivity. Cool. Uh, configure web pages with additional structural elements. Cool. All right. Well, let's do that. So they start on page 248. They show a picture of the box model. And this is kind of sort of important. Um, so it starts with, like, let's, let's just talk about width. If I said the width of this thing that I'm doing is 100, what I mean is the width of the content is 100. Okay? This is a, 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 an interesting concept. So I'm going to repeat it several times so just you don't have to rewind yet. So you start with the, the height and the width of the content. And then there's padding that goes between the content and a border because you don't want the words, you know, just crammed up against the side of the, you know, the border. Uh, you know, you want some some padding between the two. That's what this is. Then you have the border. It could be one pixel wide. It could be 10. It could be 100. And then, after that, you have what's called the margin. And the margin is how, if, for, particularly if you had two of these things, if I had two of them side by side, do I want the, the two borders to touch each other? Is that, you know, like it looks like two cells in an Excel spreadsheet? Or is it supposed to be a gap between the things? Because once again, let's say I had had words that were right up against the, the outside edge, I, just like on the inside. I don't want the words to be you know crammed up against the, the side of the, of the thing. So padding and margin, margin are really the same thing. It's just that padding is on the inside and margins on the outside. That's it. Okay. So the, the amount of width that you can actually see with your eyeballs is probably the content plus the padding plus the border. That's what you can actually see. The total width of the entire thing is going to be the padding width. I'm sorry, content plus the padding plus the margin, border plus the margin. So I'm going to do one of those just to show you what I'm talking about. So. Uh, I'm going to go here, go to a new project, just the way we always do. Um, I'm going to call this one uh, Chapter 6. I'm going to pick Normal. Okay. So as always, I'm going to go here, I'm going to add something new, and I'm just going to add an HTML page, and I'm going to call it index for reasons that we haven't talked about yet. Okay. So I'm going to go in here and just put a paragraph in that says, you know, hello there. Okay. So I'm just going to run this to let you know that, you know, it works. Come on, machine, let's go. We got people waiting. So it's very simple, right? Not a big deal. Notice that I didn't specify any type of margin or padding. So what did the browser do? I mean, the, the H is not crammed up against the side of that thing. So what's, here's a good question would be, well, what is the default margin? And the answer is, I don't know. It kind of depends on your browser. Isn't that kind of weird? Uh, some browsers have it really tight. Um, 
browsers that are like on phones tend to be a little tighter because you know they're trying to maximize the amount of a real estate so to speak so what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna go in here and add some attributes okay you guys remember how the border thing works I'm gonna do a style and border is um, dang it so border is one of those ones where you do this and then it has some apps some things that follow afterwards in fact you can see here that it wants the width the type and then the the color so okay I'm gonna do 5 px okay 4 how about it? <laughs> solid black okay so now you're gonna be able to see in fact hang on hang on hang on sorry let me do this again I really wanted to have two paragraphs that were one on top of each other so a normal paragraph with nothing okay now what I just told you about the thing about the border and all just because I couldn't see the border before was it there so in other words well let me just show you <laughs> my question is how are these things gonna line up okay so this just put a black a thick black border around everything and now the H actually is touching the border it really is now it's not necessarily touching it top and bottom but left and right for reasons that are not immediately clear the default is pretty doggone um, tight there so I want to go in there and I want to I want to change the now wait a minute now is this gonna be padding I'm changing or margin I'm changing notice that this part lines up in this case the H above lines up not with the H below but it lines up with the border in other words it is that all this stuff lines up it's just now we have more we have five pixels more so it's scooted it over five pixels okay so I'm just gonna mess with one of these things you guys remember how to do this it, it's semicolon means kind of keep going right so I want to do something to do with the margin and I could do the margin everywhere and I'll do that I'll go ahead and say margin and if you remember how this works it works like like the face of a clock starting at noon so that would be top and then it would go you know to three o'clock so that would be right then bottom okay so I'm gonna go in here and say I don't know let's do two pixels two pixels two pixels and two pixels actually you know I keep forgetting that I wanted to show this kind of as a progression my apologies okay whoa gotta put a quote back in there all right let's see what this is gonna look like because obviously they're gonna be slightly different okay so um that did my margin right it scooted over a little bit cool right okay so I still got the H touching the, the the black line why is that because that's padding not margin okay one more I'm gonna change this to padding all right and now you can see a, a healthy space between the H and the, the actual edge. It also increased it up and down, which I didn't really need that much because it looked pretty good there. That kind of making sense? Okay. So basically what you're supposed to have learned from this is that the, the amount that you can see with your eyeballs is the border, the padding, and the content okay that's the part you can see you can't actually see the the outside margin part it's there but you just can't see it with your eyeballs okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna go through here and do one more thing I'm gonna conv I'm gonna do the a width here so I'm just gonna add a width to each one of these things I'm gonna say width <clears throat> I don't know 200 and I'm gonna add that <clears throat> excuse me to uh, every one of these <clears throat> I'm gonna add it here and here 
So now that the width is the same on all of them. So instead of it consuming the entire page, now it's just going to be 200. So now let's see how these things line up. Okay. Kind of cool. So this top one and this bottom one, kind of like, wait a minute now, those don't exactly line up. I mean, if they're all the same width, right? I told all three of these things the same width. Do they look the same size to you? They don't to me. Looks like this one is bigger. Why is that? Well, I, I tell you what, I'm going to, I'm going to exaggerate the padding just to, just to, to make this a little bit more sense. Okay. I'm going to put zero in here for, for the margin one. If I, if I exaggerate this, it'll become a little bit more clear. Okay. So now I have both exaggerated padding. Okay. Now, is it fairly obvious that the top box is not the same width as the bottom box? Yeah. Why is that? I told them both of them are supposed to be exactly 200 pixels. What went wrong? Well, the answer is nothing. The answer is the width property is only for the content. This is a bizarre thing. I mean, most people would look at this and think that we're talking width, that we're talking about the outside edge of the box. We are not. The width property is only doing the content. Okay. Shall I say it a third time, maybe? Okay. The width only controls the width of the content, not padding, not margin, not border. Okay. Okay. So, that's the box model and one of the weird things about the box model. Um, now, I will tell you a cautionary tale because way back when in Internet Explorer days, Internet Explorer 8, and I mean, okay, okay, that's a long time ago and most people probably don't have or even heard of oper operating systems that were running Internet Explorer 8. But in those days, when you selected width, it actually did the box. So pages on Internet Explorer 8 look different than any other browser because they didn't follow the rules. Thankfully, those days are gone and everyone follows the rules just the way I told you. Okay. Okay. So let's just kind of figure out, how, back to here, uh, how how big is that box okay from side to side of the border I'm, I'm forgetting about the map not thinking about the margin but from the left hand side of that box to the right hand side of that box how big is it well we know the content is 200 then i have padding on the left so that's 220 padding on the right 240 a thing over here would be 244, and then a thing on the other side would be 248. So that box is 248 pixels wide from edge to edge. You, you got to do the math. It's the width plus whatever padding is on the right and padding on the left plus the border on the left and border on the right. Okay. Got it? Okay. There is a shortcut. Whenever you're using these kind of things, there's a couple of shortcuts you can do. Um, I'm going to go ahead and light this one up. And Remember I told you that it works like faces of a clock? Well, it turns out that if you only have one, if you're only using one number, right, you can just put at the top and the machine will say, you know, there's four sides to this box and you only gave me one. So most likely what you meant was use that number for all of them. It's just a shortcut. Okay, we're coming up on the 15 minute mark. So I'm gonna pause this and be right back in just a minute. 